In this video, I'm going to use um, one of my drawing software packages to give you an idea of exactly what will happen if you change the stair tread length. So, for example, here we have a 10 inch stair tread measurement, overall measurement of the step or the stair tread. Um, is going to be 10 inches. Now what if we made it 9 inches? Now again, you can see my little arrow here. I'm pointing is all I'm going to do is make this a little smaller or a little longer. This isn't no magic trick here, but if I make it smaller, if I take and I change the stair treads to let's just say 10 inches, I mean to 9 inches, I'm going to end up with a steeper stairway, but in some cases this is going to be necessary. You know, you might have a wall that stops right here, and instead of making it a 10 inch tread, you'll make it 9 inches. Again, do not forget to check with your local building and safety departments um, to make sure that uh, you can actually build a stairway with a 9 inch stair tread. Most of the time, nine inches is the minimum stair tread you're allowed to use and of course again that would be the distance from the front of the stair stringer to the back corner of the stair stringer where the riser and the treads actually meet so again this right here is all that's going to happen if you make your stair treads smaller you can see the stair rise hasn't changed at all only the stair tread width um, and again you could go ahead and make this smaller you could make it as small as you want to as long as it's within your building code um, regulations so now we're back to a 10 inch step now what would happen if we made an 11 inch it's actually just going to make it a little longer that's it it's not going to change the rise so if you're laying out your stair stringer and you're wondering what the difference is going to be between an 11 inch tread and a 10 inch tread this is it that's all there is it's only going to change the length of the overall run of the stairway so if you're going to have if you have something at um, a 9 inch tread you might be over here somewhere if you have an 11 inch tread you might be around here 12 inches you might be out here and so on so that's it I just wanted to make a video I get these questions every once in a while and um, you know I can't I can't answer them all uh, but this of course was one of them what would be the difference if the stair treads were smaller or larger